Hello everyone and welcome to re-entry. In this video uh, we'll take a quick look at the new disk rendering logic. So if you played uh, re-entry before and tried an Apollo mission uh, where you had to use the AGC or the disk, uh, the LGC uh, through the disk, uh, you will uh, notice that the way that I've used to render the different digits on the disk is by using a font uh, like you can see on the EMS here. So this font is basically uh, just uh, rendering a digit that you tell the font to render and it will display it on, on uh, this is display here. And the same applied to the old disk rendering logic. But as you can see, there's some things that has changed. And after doing some research and uh, doing some uh, discussions on the re-entry community, I've decided to uh, recreate how these digits are rendered uh, to create a more uh, realistic and immersive feel to it. So if I now go into a video by Curious Mark where he goes into a lot of details around how these digits are actually rendered and they actually restored one of these uh, real panels, uh, you'll see uh, that each of these digits are built up by these different parts. Uh, and in Reactree, uh, each of these parts are now an individual object with uh, a piece of uh, uh, logic behind them. And then I use kind of a binary sequence to figure out, okay, what parts do I need to render to show which digit? And if you take a closer look at each of these digits, you see that it's uh, created from multiple different looking shapes. So for example, this top shape here, you have an angle here and a square on this side. Uh, while this one has a square on both sides, this one has an angle on both sides, and then you can see the combination. And uh, uh, this is kind of how the disk then should have its digits rendered if we wanted to kind of create it more realistic. Uh, in addition, uh, the logic behind this tries to render uh, these digits uh, using some relays, and each of these relays are creating this uh, clicking, uh, relay clicking sound effect. And uh, in addition, there's some delay between uh, the refresh rate and uh, each of these digits rendering. So if you pay attention to kind of how this behaves uh, in this video, I'm going to play a couple of seconds of Mark's uh, video here. Play. You can hear the clicking sound effect and the sequential build up of each of these digits. So if we now go back into re-entry and we take a quick look at how this functions in-game, you will see that I've tried to recreate a very similar pattern. So first of all, you will notice kind of the green blueish color that you saw in, the, uh, saw in the video. And this is actually a more accurate color uh, versus the one that I uh, used to have, which is green like this. Uh, so if I now go into, for example, verb, 35 to do the light test. You can see that uh, each of these digits are now sequentially built up and you can see uh, th the shapes with the square sides and the angles and uh, things like that all recreated realistically. Uh, in addition I could try to run the program for the TLI which is uh, program 15. So 37 1 5 Enter and you can see this uh, built up of each of these digits with the relay clicking. And the relay clicking actually only plays when there's a change to a number. For example, if this zero would be changed into an eight, only one piece is missing and that's this middle one. And you would hear a relay click on that. And the same applies for every other change that's happened. If I hit Pro now to see the Delta V, you can see it clears the bottom two registers and this one is changed. And if I now hit Pro, uh, you will see a countdown towards the burn. So I'm going to hit Pro now. So we're 52 minutes and 36, 26 seconds away from the burn. And you can uh, see this change as it goes down. And the more change uh, changes there are, uh, the more sound effects will be played. 
And that's really everything there is to it, but I think that uh, given this central piece of equipment, it really adds an immersive factor when you're uh, out there uh, doing an Apollo mission uh, with this uh, uh, disk rendering logic. So with that, uh, I want to thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you want to play around with bits, make sure that you uh, switch to the alpha branch uh, on re-entry, uh, which is on Steam. And then uh, if you're curious on getting more details of this entire logic behind these panels, I really recommend you to go and check out uh, Curious Mark's video on this, which I also linked in the description of this video. In the description, you will also find the links to the uh, to Steam, uh, where you can get some details on how to switch to the Alpha branch if you want to play with this. So yeah, thanks again. Bye.